Kineos and Tiro Amelitis, perhaps my next favorite of the Commander 2016 decks, second only to Atroxas, is a great new option for a group hug deck. The deck itself has a lot of potential as not only a group hug deck, which is what we'll be covering here today, but also has opportunities for control and prison strategies. While we might not have access to black mana, we do have a lot to work with here. Looking at our commander, Kineo Sentiro is a 2-8 human soldier that at the beginning of your end step, each player can put a land from their hand into play, and anyone who chooses not to gets to draw a card. This is a nice ability that will give anyone at the table some form of benefit which, especially in a multiplayer game which is where this deck shines, will take some of the heat off of you. At least at first. This deck is going to do two main things. It's going to give everyone as much land as they'll ever want without putting too much pressure on them to target you. This will give them some nice warm fuzzy feelings towards you since you've given them so much ramp and card draw. The second thing this deck will do we'll discuss in a moment, but one final note before we get into the framework of this deck is this will be an extremely budget commander deck tech. As in, you can buy the pre-con deck and then the upgrades to the original list we'll be showing off will be cards at about $5 each or less. Of course, you can go crazy and buy all the fetch lands and shock lands and such to perfect your mana base, but for those of us who want a budget deck to join in some commander games, this deck will not cost you all that much to build. Right off the bat, some of the key cards already come in the deck that will help us get plenty of love spread around. Veteran Explorer will give every player two basic lands when it dies, untapped. Collective Voyage is a great way for all the players in the game to pool together some mana to get some intense ramp on board. Tempt with Discovery is another great way to give your opponents some lands, but in the end, you will benefit far more than any other opponent will. Rights of Flourishing will gives us both card draw and an extra land drop, guaranteeing your opponents will love the amount of benefit they're receiving from your game. Lastly, Girapur Ori will give more huggy goodness with an extra land drop and some nice card draw. We also have some cards that interact with the landfall in this deck. Avenger of Zendikar will give us a ton of creatures that will pump up the more lands we play thereafter. Minute and Den will give you and only you an additional land drop. Omnath, Locus of Rage will be even more fun with the lands with plenty, and I mean plenty, of 5-5 elementals. In the same vein, Rampaging Baelos will give us some 4-4 beasties. Lastly, Titania, Protector of Argoth will make an appearance here to help with our second strategy with Mass Destruction. We will gladly give our opponents as much ramp as they'd like, but we can't give and expect not to receive, right? Glad you asked, my YouTube friends. Let's talk about some of the ways this deck will ruin friendships. I mean, ruin your opponent's fun, uh, yeah. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk will clean up much of the board state, forcing your opponents to sacrifice their precious cards. I swear this deck isn't running black, but if only we could. <laughs> Tragic Arrogance also does a similar ability, minus the creature said ability is tacked onto, and in this case, you get to choose the cards they keep. Supreme Verdict is an uncounterable creature wrath, which is always pretty nice. Cataclysm also drops every player down to just one of each kind of permanence, except Planeswalkers. Decree of Annihilation is literally annihilation of everything. Heck, you can even cycle it and it'll let you destroy all the lands. Impending Disaster will kill the lands once there are seven more in play. We also have some classic land destruction in the form of Armageddon. Surprisingly, all the cards we've talked about so far have been about $5 or less. Of course, if the budget is no issue, Life of the Loam and Crucible of Worlds can help you recover your lands. Because yes, we will not let land destruction ruin our game. Ravages of War is also essentially Armageddon, but with a much steeper price tag. Now a few final cards to mention that are especially important given the land destruction we run. Titania will give us a ton of creatures upon wiping the board of lands. Splendid Reclamation will give us every land from our graveyard back into play. Centaur Vinecrasher becomes immense after we drop it following a massive land wipe, and while not quite a budget card in our $5 range, Knight of the Reliquary is a great option for great mana fixing in a pinch, and will get bigger the more lands that are in our graveyard, just something to keep in mind. We can also prevent the destruction of our lands during a board wipe using cards such as Boros Charm and the Soul of New Phyrexia.
For the land base, we have a few things we want to note here. While this is meant to be a budget deck and subsequently most of our lands can be basics for the purpose of our land searches wanting basic lands as targets, you can of course put as much into the mana base as you can afford. We're not going to go into too much in this because obviously you could put in shock lands and fetch lands and dual lands and all sorts of expensive lands. The deck can benefit from plenty of fetches, but some good options for budget lands would be Cross and Verge, which is an include with the deck to begin with, which can search for two lands, both a forest and a plains, Reliquary Tower, which is always great in pretty much any commander deck ever, and some of the cycle lands like Tranquil Thicket, which will not only give us a card draw, but it'll also be another land in the graveyard for later recovery. If your budget will allow for fetches and shocks or the more expensive lands, by all means go as crazy as you want. But if you're looking for a fun, friendly, group hug deck that doesn't break your bank, look no further than Kineos and Tiro of Melitis and enjoy a relaxing game of losing your friends.